And hello everyone from Lights and Gear. Let's talk about a new charger which I just got my hands on. The VC2 was a popular charger from XSTAR several months ago, but they've uh, done some tweaking to that model. And as you can see here, we now have the VC2 Plus Master, which is a nice little charger, the same size as the original VC2, comes in a similar type of box and it does many of the same functions as the VC2 but adds a couple of different uh, couple of different uh, aspects to it. Now first of all it does charge NIMH and lithium-ion batteries so here you have your various NIMH so sizes right here and you've got your lithium-ion IMR, ICR, etc. sizes right here so with the two different types of battery chemistries you can take many a different size of battery and charge it in this little unit. All kinds of information here on the back of the box which is also included in the instruction manual. It uh, runs off of a USB port and it does come with the USB plug and the charger and everything else is in this nice little bag inside the box to take with you traveling and so forth. So anyway um, as I say on the manual, there is a lot of uh, a lot of nifty things about the charger. If you were at all familiar with the first VC2, it does have many of the same functions as I mentioned. Um, it will revive a, a theoretically dead battery from zero volts, and um, let's see. Oh yes, uh, each slot, as it says, is independent, and it can handle both button top and flat top batteries. Um, and it does have reverse polarity protection and it does have the red and green LED lights which indicate the battery is charging and then when the charge is finished and it will also restart a battery if you should leave it on the charger and the voltage should drop to 3.9 volts it will begin recharging the battery once again and it does use the constant current constant voltage on its batteries and it is a uh, it does use a fireproof materials for safety. Um, so let's take a look at it here. I've already taken it out of the box and plugged it in. Unfortunately, the cord is not that long, so we uh, just have to make do with that. But here, if you can see, let's move the camera a little bit, and you can see the display of it, I believe, pretty well. Uh, it has a different type of display than the uh, original VC2 and as you can see there it shows the different uh, the two different slots channel one and two here and this button here will toggle between 0.5 and 1 amp so you can choose your battery current that way now obviously it will each it'll do both at the same time I mean it will the the, char the slots are independent but not in the charging current so you can see if you set it at 1, they're both going to charge at 1, and they're both going to charge at 0, 0.5 if that's the setting you have. Now what's unique about this particular one, which the uh, VC2 differs, it has this unique little display here. So when you put the battery in, and right here I have a 18350, 13... Uh, um, what does that work out to? Anyway, 1834, yeah, an 18350. <laughs> Sorry. So, anyway, we've got one of these to put in. And uh, what happens right away is it starts to ramp up on this little counter, if you will, this little bar. Now it shows 65%. So, that's the current status of the battery. It's at 65%. This says 113, which means in approximately 1 hour and 13 minutes, the battery will be charged. That's a nice little feature. The uh, original VC2 did not do that. Okay, let's uh, let's take a different battery. Let's take a, a granddaddy here, a big uh, 26650. Obviously, this is about the biggest battery it will take. And uh, let me just uh, pull back a little bit here. So it almost it almost looks like this isn't going to fit. Almost, but it does. Let me just make sure I have it the right way around. Yep. Okay. There you go. It is now charging, and it's at 78% and has 46 minutes left. 
Now I have this at 05 at the moment. Now theoretically, with an 18350, I wouldn't. Ch I, I don't normally charge these at more than uh, more than 0 0.7 or 750 or whatever a mid-range in your charger is. If it only goes to uh, if it's like this one and has 0, 05 and 1, I will usually charge one of these at 5, but I would normally charge one of these at 1. But I can toggle, and that's how you turn the display off. <laughs> so the display actually does turn off if you press and hold the, uh, the switch there. The display will switch off. So, I am going to use there you go yeah okay actually yeah let's do that again there you go oh five and then one okay so it actually is smarter than I'm smarter than I am if you if you'll look at it that way um, okay so in this particular instance it is going to charge both batteries at 0 0.5 now if I were to take the 26650 out and then hit the toggle switch here then it will go to one on the 18350 and vice versa if I was to take that out and put the uh, 26650 in I will also be able to charge this one at 1 amps okay so sometimes sometimes in my world we learn as we go so there you go I learned something new right there and I, re I recall that is uh, similar with one of the other earlier versions of the X-Stars in the fact that when you have two batteries in the machine, it usually defaults to, uh, to 0.5. So in this particular case, and with the VC2 Plus, let's see what that's going to do. There you go. There, you see? It went right back to 0.5 when I put the other battery back in so but it's still a very nice feature to have the countdown here and showing the percentage of how full the battery is at this time and when it's full the lights will obviously turn green right here and full will replace the timer in the display and it also has, here's the, right at the moment you see I have this, um, here's your regular uh, output for your uh, USB. You can plug this obviously into any USB port, a computer, etc. Right now I have it plugged into a wall jack. Um, but here you have the, the, uh, the USB output on the back here. And you can plug this into, say, a cell phone and charge your cell phone that way. You put a battery in slot 1 and then plug this into your cell phone and you can charge that so that's a nice added little another added little feature of the VC2 plus and that is pretty much the basic operation of it um, I think you can get the gist of how you can use this charger for just about any type of lithium or NIMH battery you have it does, of course, guard against if the battery is going to get too hot and so forth, and will guard against that. And um, there's not too many mistakes you can make when charging a battery in a charger like this, since it does have intelligent circuits and won't let you put a battery in backwards and that kind of thing. And if the battery is completely useless, it will tell you that before or it will refuse to charge it if the battery is completely useless technically if it is zero volts and chargeable it will still charge the battery but um, if you have one that's clinically dead um, it will let you know about that and if you also notice there the display just dimmed a little bit which it does after it's been on for a few minutes the display will just dim a tad but, uh, but as I did before if I press and hold the button it'll um, almost dim off completely and uh, press it again. So there you have it, the VC2 Plus charger from XSTAR. I would say go for it. And uh, I would say also to visit my website at lightsandgear.com where you will get a more, well, you will get a full written review and uh, some additional pictures and so forth. And there's also a uh, purchasable, a purchase link there as well for the VC2, which was provided to me by the fine folks at GearBest. So I do thank you very much for watching. Like this, share this, and uh, until next time, so long from Lights and Gear. We'll see you then.